welcome back guys to Christine's Jamaican Kitchen. So today we're doing pot roast beef. Before we get started, if you haven't already, tap that like and subscribe button, hit that notification bell to be notified as soon as there's more recipes. Here is all my ingredients that I need. Black pepper, allspice, parsley flakes, Maggi all-purpose, oil, paprika, salt, pimento, soy sauce, some beef broth, scallion green onion, thyme, garlic, onion, bell pepper, tomato, sweet pepper, scotch bonnet pepper, lemon, vinegar, very important. You gotta wash that meat properly. And of course, here is my beef. So my beef was already washed, clean, soaked with my vinegar and my lime. You know how I always stress on marinating from overnight so that's exactly what i did so i get up all my scallion onion thyme sweet pepper bell pepper garlic scotch bonnet pepper i cut them up put them in the blender blend them and then i add it to my beef along with my powder seasoning which is the maggie the all-purpose the black pepper, salt, parsley flake. So this is what I have left from my seasoning. So I did half of that on top of my beef right in here. Oh my gosh, if you guys could smell the aroma coming from my beef, awesome. It has been marinating from overnight, so it's well seasoned and soaked. And as you can see, you can see some water going on in there. This is all the juice from the beef that we're gonna use later on. So I'm ready to put my pot on the stove. My pot is hot and ready for my oil. But don't forget guys, I will have all the measurements in the description box below. So right now, I'm just gonna kind of scrape some of the seasoning off that I put on it. Look at this baby, look at this baby. So I'm kind of scraping some of the scallion and onion off of it. Then I'm just gonna place it in the pot. But look at this baby. I'm gonna put my lid on and then I'm gonna keep checking, turning and checking for that nice dark brown color. Okay guys, so this is what my beef has been marinating in from overnight. So this is what I'm gonna use with, I'm gonna add some beef broth to it and a little bit of water and I'm gonna keep tipping it constantly in my pot until my meat is finished cooking. So you're not gonna add all of this at once. Little by little, you keep tipping inside of your pot. Come on over and look at my meat. Look at this. So 
So at this point, my stove is on medium to low heat. Okay guys, come on over, I want you to see something. Look right in here. So all that sauce, that juice that you're using from your leftover marinated beef, you gotta make sure you have some still left in the pot. So look right now, you see, I'm low on it. You don't want it to, you don't have any in there because then your meat is gonna start burning. So look at how I'm doing. So each time I'm adding just a little bit, so I'll do like half a cup and I add it to the side, to the side, to the side, just like that. Then I would cover my pot and let it continue cooking until it's tender. So you're gonna continue with this motion of pouring it to the side until it's finished cooking. An hour and 15 minutes later, my roast is ready. What I need to do now is to make some gravy to go with my roast. But come on over and check this out. At this so I'm gonna just take it pick it up I'm gonna place it right in here I cut it because I want to make sure it's all tender and well soaked so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make my gravy but look at that how beautiful that is I want to make some gravy to go with my beef. So I have half a onion right here, the tomato, green onion, the scallion. So they're all stripped and washed and ready. So I'm just gonna cut them up and I'm gonna make my gravy. My hands are already washed. So I'm just gonna go and start chopping. And then remember we had a little bit of the seasoning left. So I'm just gonna add that to it. You know how I love a lot of my fresh seasoning? Because as I tell you all the time, it gives the food so much flavor. So with my beef, when I had washed it overnight and clean it, soak it with my vinegar, my lime, what I did was I took the knife and I poke it, you know, stab it, stab it, poke it a couple of times to make sure I poke holes in my beef. So with the seasoning that I blend my blended mix i was able to pour over over my beef so all of that went down in those little holes so you know that really marinate soak right in because that's what you want you don't want when you cut your beef when it's ready and start eating it you don't taste that flavor in it You know me, so I'm just gonna saute all of this and just let it cook down for five to 10 minutes. Get me a nice 
nice gravy to pour over. I'm not gonna use all of that pepper because you know I already have pepper in it. So my sweet pepper, this is all I need. My bell pepper, this is all I need. garlic and I have my soy sauce just in case if I need just a little bit of color to my gravy if I don't need it I won't be using it but if I need that little bit of color little bit of dark color I'm gonna add some of my sauce sauce okay guys gravy time so if you look in my pot right here this is my leftover that I use for my roast beef so it has the a little bit of water the blended mix that I blend which was the seasoning right and the uh, beef broth so this is it so i'm gonna use it i'm gonna add my onion tomato scallion Right now I have it on high heat. Water. One cup. Two cup. And just a little. See guys, I don't think I need my soy sauce. It already has that nice color that I want. So I'm just gonna go ahead, put the lid on, test, taste, and see if I need a little bit more seasoning, which is my powder seasoning. I would add some of this that I got right here. after an hour and 15 minutes dinner is ready but look at it it was worth it it was worth it look at my dinner I did some mashed potatoes some green beans with Jamaicans with a string bean and I have some cucumber right here let me dig in but before I do look at my gravy look at my gravy soft and tender. Mm. Perfect. Perfect. Well seasoned. It's so tender. And let me tell you, the trick is to have this meat marinate from overnight. Mm, 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 mm. My mashed potato. Bye guys, bye for now, bye. Thanks for watching, for more recipes, click the link over here.